guys and welcome back to Creative Blam Crafts. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did making it. I would love it if you would take a moment to leave me a comment or just say hello. I would also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam Crafts, I'm going to share with you my DIY rose gift tag. Let me show you what I did. Here I am just cutting, I'm die cutting out the actual gift tag and frame using my Sizzix Big Shot. And here, I'm taking the gift tag and the frame away from the die cut. I've got my art glitter glue and I'm going to attach the frame to the actual gift tag. And as you can see, I've already colored and die cut out the rose. So I'm just adding some art glitter glue it has a fine tip, so it allows you to glue in small spaces. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I am going to lay the frame onto the matte gift tag. And now I am going to add some, um, add some mounting tape to the back of the rose and to the back of the stem. The rose that I want it to be raised above the gift tag and above the gift tag frame. Now I'm going to place the stem of the rose and I'm trying to get the positioning just right so I still have enough room for my sentiment. Now I'm adding the rose petals to the top of the stem. And here is my Simon Says Stamps, tiny words of encouragement. Some are clear, clean stamps, and some are pre-printed, and you just cut them out. And the one that I'm going to use today, I'm just going to cut it out. And my sentiment says, consider yourself hugged. Now I'm trying to decide whether I wanted to place the sentiment at the top of the gift tag or at the bottom. And then here I'm just adding some mounting tape uh, to the back of the sentiment so that I can place it. I decided to put it on the bottom. And here I have to move the stem over just a little bit um, so that the sentiment will sit sort of centered. I added the mounting tape on there to the right so that it can lean against the stem without being too high. My Sizzix Celebration Word Scripts die cuts for words and I'm going to die cut out a couple things. I'm going to do about three of them. Two of them I'm going to do in white and one I'm going to, as you can see, use the Distressed Ink. I'm going to use a little bit of green and a little bit of a raspberry on a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use my word dies and cut that out. I'm going to use it as a shadow. I'm going to offset it just a little bit so that you, it peeks out just a little bit from behind the white things that will go on top. So here I'm placing my die on top of that piece of cardstock. Now I've got them cut out and one as you can see is red. It, it looks pink from here but it's really red. And then I have the white one. I'm going to take in with my art glitter glue, I'm going to trace the letters of the um, thanks that's been 
cut in white and I'm going to add it to the one that's off center. I'm going to add it to the one in red. It'll give it a little more dimension. It makes it sit up a little higher. Plus it gives it somewhat of a shadow because you'll see the red coming from behind the white. That kind of mimics the color of the gift tag itself. So again, I'm just following along with my art glitter glue, tracing out the words. My camera is not focusing very well, and I'm not sure why, so I apologize for that. So here, I'm gonna put the things together. I'm gonna put the white on top of the red, and as I said earlier, I'm gonna offset it, offset it just a little. Now I gotta trace those lettering one more time because I've gotta now adhere it to the base of the gift tag. Unfortunately, that die cut just disappears into the fuzziness of what the state of my camera was at that moment. And again, I'm sorry. I have some red ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna feed it through the hole at the top of the gift tag and just tie it on there. So this way if you can tie it to your gift bag or you can attach it to a gift box. It's a little thick for the small hole on this gift tag, but I'll make it work. Cause normally I would run it through twice, but it just wasn't big enough for that. So I had to run it through one time and tie two knots on the top. And here I'm just gonna dovetail the ends of that ribbon. Here I take my Nouveau drops and I add a few drops on the front of the gift tag and I've already as you can see added some red rhinestones. Okay guys that's it we're all done. I like how it turned out. If you enjoyed it too let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I have linked other videos down in the description box below. Be sure and check them out. Also check out my main channel, Creative Glam. I have left a link to that channel as well. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam Crafts. Bye.